So if you wish to use CapCut from a time that was free and was pretty good, it was pretty solid. It wasn't perfect. It's not as good as it is now if you were to pay for Pro. Um, but it was pretty good. It was relatively lightweight. It had some stuff on here that was really helpful. Here's some proof. If I go to the transitions, none of it is locked behind a paywall. I'm aware that there was like a VIP pass or something like that back then. But this is basically all that there is. And it's pretty much free. I'll show you here real quick. So, and slow-mo existed too. This is the relatively good slow-mo that has the optical blend option, the optical flow option here. It's pretty good. The only, and it also has auto captioning. So I know like here, I know it, what does Molly so fuck? So I know that like, obviously it could look like that I put it out here, but it, it exists in here. And, um, yeah, so there's, there's all these free things in here. Basically everything was free. The only thing that didn't exist here that I know of is motion blur because motion blur, if you're a gamer like me, typically what you would like to have is a little bit of motion blur to make your clips look a little smoother, but if you go to the video tab, as you can see, I can't scroll up or down. There's nothing in here. So there's no motion blur. I'm going to show you how to install this because I'm pretty sure a lot of people like myself would like to use this version. So for starters, uh, I'm going to be using this. This is called Revo Uninstaller. Go ahead and, you know, history check this program. If you do not believe me, that is perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to be talking about the, un the free uninstaller. This is what I'm going to use to uninstall all of the CapCut BS in the background that I do not want. All right. So I just, I'm getting the Revo uninstaller free. You can also search for it by just going, uh, it should be Revo uninstaller.com or something of the similar of that and just get the portable version of it. It is a pretty powerful tool and I do recommend keeping it if you care about PC cleaning. Um, but other than that, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So once Revo uninstaller is open, all I'm going to do is I'm going to wait in the uninstaller section and then search for cap cut. And click it once, right click, uninstall, do not make a system restore point. When this pops up, ignore. Uncheck, keep user data. Click OK. CapCut will uninstall itself like normal. But with Revo Uninstaller, there's a, there's a few extra steps that we can take. So we go hit complete. In here, I hit on advanced or moderate, doesn't really matter. I'm doing advanced just for the sake of the video. It'll remove more of this stuff's editor stuff in here that you don't want from different versions that you may have installed. And so then you kind of just do that and it should be uh, good. This website, this will be down in the description. This is, and I would recommend get multiple of these uninstallers uh, to mess around with different things from here. So this is up to down. This has cap code on here. This is where we're going to get the different versions of CapCut. So there's three versions that I recommend. So there's 1.5. This is the one I just showed. There is 2.5.3, 2.5.3801. This one has motion blur, but but this is when the um the the pro stuff started creeping in. So if you want the motion blur stuff and you don't care too much about transitions or very specific things that get updated over time, this is the one you want to go with. Uh if you need motion blur, this 2.5.3, yeah, 3.8 or 3.9, if you could find a 3.9, uh, is the one, is the next one that you would want to try. 3.8 has pretty much everything that you would need, but the pro feature stuff really kicked in there. So there's, it's like the transitions are limited, the filters are limited, everything is super limited, it feels super cramped, it feels like you're scrolling pages of just locked items, and you can't even use them. So doing this with the 1.5 version first, just like any other CapCut, you hit agree, install, and you just let it rip. Little keynote is whenever it does, whenever you click on an icon, if you ever have it here as an icon on your desktop and you click it and it goes uh, environment testing, that was prob that's probably an indicator that you're gonna actually have to use that Revo tool, that Revo uninstaller to uninstall the program again, because uh, it just updated to the latest version. So I would highly suggest not like 
having a shortcut on the desktop because it will auto update. Uh, as you can see here, it says 1.5.0. And here is how you open up CapCut when it is fully closed. It's so easy, it's just a little tedious. So hit the Windows key, type in CapCut, open file location, right click. So if you get a shortcut here, click it once, right click it. Open file location again. And then in here, this will actually probably look like this. Sorry about that. It'll probably look like this. And you're going to go into the 1.5 folder, double click it. And in here, you could just press the letter C and it will immediately just go to CapCut. This is the file version of 1.5.0.230. So then you double click it. And there you go. This is how you access this. And this is how you make it so that, you know, like you can actually use it. You could just take it, slide it to the desktop. I would sort of advise against that, but if you if you find a way or if you know a way for yourself that you can make it easier for you, I've tried it on the taskbar, it still updates. I put it onto my desktop, it still updates. So I just leave it in here and I just double click it when I need it. That's how you install it. And again, use just go back and refer to the beginning of the video with the Revo uninstaller and uninstall CapCut because the, it's just a pain. It's just a pain to use when you don't have premium. And uh, if you have any alternatives to making that whole opening process better, go ahead and put it down there as I'm pretty sure there will be eventually someone like me, you, or the next person that might actually need it. Thank you as always.